Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 17 from the October November 20, 2022. Uh, Cambridge 0580 syllabus. This is paper 2, variant 3. It's a question about variation. And it says y is proportional to the square of x minus 7. So what we can say is y is proportional to x minus 7 all squared. Okay, now a lot of people, they don't read this part. They just read proportional to, but it says the square of. So whatever comes after that, you have to square it. The square of x minus 7. Which means when you, something is proportional to, if, it doesn't say, if you don't see the word inverse here, it means directly proportional to, which means y is equal to some constant, which we'll call k times x minus 7 squared. So it says when x equals 12, y equals 2. So when x equals 12, y equals 2. So we have a pair of values we can use in order to find what k is. And then it says find y when x equals 17. So once we found the value of k, we can then use that value of k. That's a constant value which will be true for every situation. Then we can just uh, replace the x with 17 and find what y is when x is 17. So first we've got to find what k is. So we're going to replace the y with 2. And I'm going to replace the x with 12. So you end up with 2 equals k times 5 squared. So you have 2 equals 25k. So k is therefore equal to 2 over 25. I'll leave it in that form. So now we can say our equation is y equals 2 over 25. That's k times x minus 7 squared. So therefore y is equal to 2 over 25 times now when x equals 12, we can replace the x with 12. So we have 12, sorry, when x equals 17, we can replace the x with 17. So we have here 2 over 25 times 17 minus 7 is of course 10. That's going to be 200. 10 squared is 100 times 2, 200 over 25, which gives you 8. 200 over 25 is 8, 100 over 25 is 4, so 225 is 8. So there's the answer to question number 17. Pretty simple, okay, but be careful about this. The square of, all right, don't just put y is proportional to x minus 7. You have to think about what mentioned there. It says the square root of, you write square root cube of, you write cube. Whatever is mentioned there, you have to do that to the uh, part after the proportional. And then it's, uh, you know, if something's proportional to something, is equal to some constant times it. If it said inversely proportional, we would put k over x minus 7 squared. If it, said, if it said y is inversely proportional to the square of x minus 7, it would be y equals k over x minus 7 squared. But this is proportional, means directly proportional, so it's k times. Okay, so that concludes this uh, simple little question on variation. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist over here. Other questions from IGCSE variation questions can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And the link over here will take you to... Um, a um, video which explains how to use my channel to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.